I had somebody come to me and say, why aren't you doing any more videos? So I thought tonight I have some free time, so why not do a video? So here I am. Thanks for watching for those of you who are watching. And I hope this person that asked me is watching. I'm sure they will be. So the message, the message tonight is God retracts his grace. Did you know that? Did you ever consider that? I mean, we all, I think, think and know that God willingly gives his grace to us. He's always wanting to give his grace to us so that we can overcome obstacles and we can make the right decisions and we can try and be faithful and keep trekking on no matter the situation. But I heard this person talking about this and he stated that God retracts his grace from us. Why would he do that? When we choose to go against God, I guess it's just being stupid when we make choices that are against God or we're doing things that we know we're not supposed to do, we're sinning and we continually do it, then we are rejecting God's grace. And when we reject his grace, then he retracts it. It's like he's not going to force it on us. So we lose out receiving his grace. Have you ever wondered what happens when he retracts his grace from us? Well, we start being really stupid. We make stupid decisions. We say stupid things. And we get ourselves in stupid situations. Simple as that. But it's not just that. We don't even realize that when God retracts his grace from us, then it opens the door to the enemy and he just steps in a little bit closer to manipulate us, to influence us, and to gain power over us. Have you ever think about that? Once God retracts his grace from us, we immediately begin to decline. Things get harder. Situations that we thought maybe we had a, a handle on suddenly become more difficult because we don't have that grace over us anymore. We don't have God's grace to help us through getting the situation or the task done. Retractions of grace happen when we're not leading good, faithful lives. Do you know that when we live good, faithful lives, it can actually stop some disasters that the enemy has planned for us. Did you know that? I learned that several years ago. Just because the enemy plans something against us, it doesn't mean it's gonna happen because God will step in. But we have to continue to be faithful to him. We need to be faithful to his grace by not committing sin. You know, and something that is more obvious now is the enemy used to do things secretly. He used to do things behind closed doors in the dark. Not now. The enemy now is openly doing evil stuff. I mean, can you see it? Like, I mean, I could think of many, many examples. And when I say evil, I mean evil that has a hold on people. I mean, there's, there's people that are, are just, they do really stupid stuff. Like, could you imagine if our leaders were like that? Could you imagine if our leaders made like stupid decisions and, and just continued to make stupid decisions? And we witnessed our world crumbling down. Could you imagine if that happened? Thank God that's not happening. So the enemy 
is no longer hiding the evil that it has planned for us. The enemy doesn't care. They, it's like they're so arrogant that they think that we're not going to see the stupid stuff that they're doing, the stuff that is ruining things. So how do we overcome certain things that happen or that could happen? We have to remember that our relationship with God is on God's terms, not on our terms. I mean, we have to play our part. We have to be diligent in being faithful and doing the right thing. I'm hearing that there's gonna be this big chastisement that all humans are gonna be going through. Is it gonna be in our time? I don't, I don't know, but why take a chance? Everything that we do that is wrong, we're gonna be chastised for. We're gonna, we're gonna see what we've done, see how it affects people. You know, one of the really stupid things, <laughs> I think the word of the video is stupid. You ever have a situation where you watch somebody that you thought was a really good person tarnish or destroy another person's character. That's stupid. Do you ever watch anybody act like they're somebody's best friend and then behind their back talk nothing but stupid stuff about them that possibly is not true? That's stupid. The thing is though, that those people, people that choose to do this, don't realize that God is watching and sees that. Because if they did realize it, they wouldn't do it. And I think to an extent, we're all guilty of it, myself included. But this is where God's grace comes in. Because God's grace helps us to not make those stupid decisions and say those stupid things that maybe aren't true about another person to make the other person they're talking about believe it about the person that they're tarnishing. You follow me? So if we stay faithful to our faith and to God and his grace, he will help all of us. I don't care who you are. All of us not to do this stupid stuff. So just remember that whether it be all at once or when we finally are called home, we are gonna go through a chastisement and we are gonna be held accountable for everything that we say and do. So I've already started repenting like all the time because we need to repent. We all need to get back on track unite ourselves not only with God but with each other and bring unity back to this country because again I could you imagine if our government officials and leaders were against us what would we do but if we're unified I would say that we got a better chance to bring this country back to where it w would need to be if, of course, that stuff was happening. Regarding the chastisement, know that it is for our betterment. It is to make us stronger and better human beings in the way we live our lives and the way we treat each other. Also know that when God retracts his grace, he's still wanting to give it to us. So there's always that opportunity to change our ways for the better so that God can continue to just pour his grace out on us. And for those that are trying to get holier, no, we will actually become holier in this time of despair and 
uncertainty that is happening in front of us if we stay faithful and continue to move forward doing good things and trying to please God and not other people. I mean, it would be great if we could live our lives without any trials, without any attacks, with true friends who really, really care about us. You know, there's things in life that happen that really make you know who your friends are. And sometimes it can be a little jarring when we find out that we thought somebody was our friend when in reality they're not. And we have to make that choice to overcome it and move on or try to continue to be friends with whoever the person is. And it's just a downward spiral. So I end this video by saying that know that God will retract his grace from us if we choose to be stupid in our decisions, if we choose to be stupid in things that we say, and if we choose to make stupid actions that aren't nice. Keep your eyes open. Be aware of what is going on around you. Regardless if you like it or not, Keep your eyes open for things that are happening in front of you that you may have thought was okay all of our lives because we know we could trust the leaders of our country that they would never lie to us. They would never try and harm us purposely. They always have our back. I mean, could you imagine if none of that was true? Could you imagine if we like woke up one day and everything that we knew was a lie? But of course they would never do that. So thank God for, for that. Thank God that there's somebody we can trust or not. I don't know. Could you imagine if we found out things in history that we were told were not really what happened or at least didn't happen the way we were told it happened? Thank God we have honest, honest leaders. I mean, could you imagine? Even if we didn't know, God would know. And oh my God, they would have, they would have to be reprimanded for all of that stuff. That would be terrible. I would just say that maybe we should just pray. Just in case, maybe we should pray for all of our leaders um, all of our friends who are really not our friends, but we think they're our friends. Um, just pray for, for goodness. Pray for faith-filled people. Pray for a conversion of hearts. Pray for everyone to just really want to have that relationship with God and strive to be good and faithful because when that happens... There will be major deliverance of our country, of the people in this world. And you know what? The onside of that would be that all of a sudden, all these people, you'll start seeing just nice. Nice from everybody. That would be amazing. That everybody would be nice. Everybody would be truthful. Everybody can get over their, their little, you know, issues that they have with each other. And that this would be a world of just good, faithful, nice people. And you'd be able to trust people better than you actually can now. So that's the message. God retracts grace. Don't let that happen. Don't turn your back on him. Don't reject his grace. Keep yourself open to God because that will help you to be that person that is faithful, that is good all around. Amen? All right. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great month. Have a great year. Have a better year. Let's pray. That's the message. Thanks for watching. See you next time.